we've had a request to show the use of dimensioning in landscape design drawings and I want to take this example if I come back into the model and if I select this sort of vegetable garden area it's it's just a single block so and I've dragged that block and put it into the design so let's have a look at the block the idea of applying dimensioning to a landscape design is to give sufficient information for your construction team to build to your design and let's imagine we were talking to the team that's going to construct that vegetable garden area putting some accurate dimensions on a print is a very useful thing to do and that's done in GCAD Plus by the tools on the dimension toolbar let's float it so you have a number of different tools or different types of dimensioning in this instance I'm just using this linear dimensioning tool and uh, first thing to note is it's a good idea to put dimensioning on its own layer we are in the habit of using a layer called L dim and you also need to pay attention to the text style sorry the not the text style the dimension style and GK plus drawings can have quite a number of different dimension styles but in this case we just had the standard dimension if we now work on this drawing for the construction team what we're trying to do is to apply a dimension so here let's imagine this is a patch that's going to be the vegetables we can look at this linear dimension so we know it's going to be 1500 wide and then we'd be looking for uh, another dimension to show us how wide that particular area is and if we pick this one here we've picked up that corner and picked up this corner so it's 2400 by 1500 let's just show how you would do that for the second vegetable plot a linear dimension I'll float the O snap tool here so we're asked for the first extension line origin so I'm going to snap to this point here then the end point snap there and we just pull away and it's a good idea to line your dimensions up with an existing dimension in this case so there's the dimension in now notice that the anchor points cross over some of the detail here and we would prefer not to do that now because pole is on remember that the dimension is 1500 I like to center that just by dragging along polar is on so I can get hold of this handle and just move it up and the dimension won't change and I can pop it like so and do that with the next one and I'm lining those two up your construction team now can set up the total area 4500 wide and 4600 in this dimension there are enough dimensions here the area for recycle bins is 900 wide and 2 meters for the various types of recycle bins then compost compost bins two different areas cover or require 2200 these bins are drawn accurately to size and they're blocks in the drawing but I digress we want to get a complete set of dimension styles sorry a complete set of dimension information so again linear dimension we want to know these green areas here for vegetable planting not quite centered so your construction team would like to know how far apart they are so we grab there and notice that it's 603 so the dimensions are being taken off the accurately constructed model so again it's a good idea to line those up like so so there's the beginnings of all the information that your construction team require to build and we'll just go to layout space and here's the layout space now and remember that 
Every, all the dimensions are on one layer, so if we want to at any time go to layers and make layer zero current and just turn off the dimensions and they should all disappear and we're just left with our original design. Let's just return finally to wrong one to the actual design and we'll go into the landscape and there's our design with our new um, area, our new vegetable garden area showing. There's a little bit of adjustment needed here. Notice how that area is squared off and it should not be. So I hope that get a that answers the query I hope to show dimensioning using a practical example.